So I am now. Why are you laughing? I haven't even said anything yet. Well, I said it. I'm here for it. You are now. So I am now officially royalty. Oh, did someone buy you a plot of land? Before I tell you what exactly happened. Okay. <laughs> did I guess it? Before I tell you exactly what happened, I have to take you back in time to tell the full story. Okay. And this story starts 10 years ago. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes, this is a story. So we're traveling all the way back to 2015. Which shouldn't be 10 years ago. Isn't that wild? Yeah. So well, 2015, like nine years ago. and this is early 2015, because 2015 is when we started to live together. Okay. This is before that. Okay. So 2015, I was in school for architectural millwork. I graduated with my carpentry degree. I was like, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. And when I was getting my degree, I was living on campus at a community college. Mm -hmm. It was a fully furnished apartment. It was like all this stuff. But then I graduated and I was like, I'm an adult now. I'm 20 years old. <laughs> I got to get my first apartment. Did you graduate at 20? Yeah, I graduated at 20. Jesus. It was a three semester program. And so I was like, okay, I did it. Now it's time for me to grow up, get an apartment and live on my own and, and be a carpenter. Absolutely. So I move into a two bedroom apartment by myself because this is before you moved in. Yeah. And literally I went from living in a college community dorm With that, a was, roommate. that was fully furnished yeah. to two bedroom apartment empty. Yes. So I had nothing. <laughs> I had no couches. I had no beds. I had. You didn't have a bed. I didn't have a bed. What I literally your was childhood bed. I was literally sleeping on an air mattress. When I first wow. moved into my into my apartment, I lived. I slept on an air mattress. And then when you moved in, you brought the couch and the chair. Oh, no, the chair was yours. The no, chair, I brought a chair too. I think. Yeah, you brought a chair, and then I got a chair for my bandmate later. Yes. But I literally had nothing. I had no furniture. So. I was living on an air mattress for a while. And then I was like, okay, I'm 20 years old. I need to get a bed. Mm -hmm. So I went to a local mattress store, which real quick, how the fuck do mattress stores stay in business? People I don't, don't know. buy mattresses that often. But also now they're all online. But also I like do not understand the that. one that I went to, mm -hmm. I bought a mattress. It, they delivered it to my apartment, third floor, and they brought it Shit. into my apartment. I mean, you and I both worked FedEx. We know how much of a bitch that yeah, was. Yeah, free delivery. And they fucking, so I bought the mattress from them. Mm -hmm. Literally like six months later, out of business. Oh shit. Okay. Like that place was gone. So it's like a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a mattress from them, you know, grow up, grow up, grow up. Fast forward to today. Yep. I'm 29, almost 30 years old mm -hmm. and I'm still sleeping on the same mattress. Yeah. And it's a full size. So it's a little bit bigger than a twin, but I, I always called it a queen, even though it's a full. I think my bed was a full too because I've had my mattress for 10 years too. Damn. So a full is good for one person. Two people, it's a little tight. Yeah. A queen is good for two people. Yes. Well, my buddy, Wes from Getting Off the Grid. Oh, yeah. Um, if you like out. video games and craft beer, check us out on YouTube. Um, but he has a king size bed. Okay. And he upgraded his bed to another king size bed. Just a better king size. A better king size. <laughs> and this was a recently new king size bed that's less than a year old oh my and, god and he goes do you want it <sighs> and i go absolutely i do i haven't upgraded my bed in 10 years right so it was sitting in his basement for a long time because we needed a truck to move it sure so i was like oh i'm prepping for this i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get mm -hmm. it and then i come over there one saturday and he's like let's go to fucking menards get a truck and let's take it and i was like fuck yeah dude, he's I'm paying for all of it i'm getting a new bed yeah <laughs> yeah i didn't dude i didn't have to buy anything a bed just shows up in my apartment. So here's the wild part. My apartment is a one bedroom apartment. Yes. My bed is in the living room. Yes. So I I, I stay I stage my apartment like a studio and then I have an office. Right. Because which, of my air conditioning. Yeah, which makes sense. Also, if you live alone, it doesn't matter. I live alone and also the way I set it up, and I want you to come you're gonna come over yeah. soon because my office is over. dope as fuck. Okay. Um but it's so cool. Queen size fits good in the corner. King? <laughs> massive just center yeah still did the same setup but the problem is i still have my queen it's two okay so you have two fucking beds so <laughs> so that's that's how i'm royalty is i'm sleeping on a king bed now yeah with a queen um but yeah the queen is watching me sleep in the king but <laughs> dude, i literally had to rearrange like i have like Everything. i had like a nightstand and then a couch and then another nightstand all against the wall mm -hmm. i had to get rid of one nightstand in order to fit the king size and then shift over a bookshelf and now it's <laughs> dude you walk into my apartment and you see it's a, bed. a king size bed you can lay horizontal <laughs> you can lay perpendicular full length is on it a, a square 
It's a it's massive. Yeah. It's like eight by eight, eight feet by eight feet. Because it's two full mattresses. I yeah, think. the the box spring is two twin. Okay, bed gotcha. Two box twins. Springs. Okay, dude, it is massive. It's ridiculous. So we got a truck. We loaded in the truck. I live on the third floor of a motel style apartment. Yeah. <laughs> so that means everything's outside, facing a pool, outside stairs. We're carrying in the box spring. Box spring is light, easy, you know, carry mm-hmm. that in. Then we carry in the mattress. This thing's fucking massive, two <laughs> people, and it's heavy, so it started flopping. Did it even fit? Get up to the s- first stairs. Yeah. Doesn't fucking fit. <laughs> like, we're trying to, like, get it up the stairs. Yeah. So, luckily, it's a mattress, so you can bend it. Sure. So, we had to, like, bend it and then kind of drag it mm-hmm. up three flights of stairs, and I'm so out of shape. We get to the first flight, and I go... <sighs> and then, like, does it, like, funk back yeah. in the shape at the top? So... It's a it's a king size bed with a I, I don't remember the ex- exact terming but it's like a pillow top. Okay. So like the top part of the mattress is like a pillow huh. of the entire mattress, so it does you like sink into it. Weird. And then it gets hard. Oh, dude, so nice. So <laughs> nice. It's better than a hotel bed. But it, it took us so much to get it up. And then when I got into my apartment, my queen was still in place, so I was yeah. like, okay, let's just lean this against the wall. Yeah, and you'll deal with. I'll it. I'll deal with it later. And because we had to get the truck back, we were on we were on a time crunch. Yeah. We were like, okay, few days go. I'm like, okay, it's time to switch. Get the king in there. Get the queen. Also, I didn't you know fucking apartment trying to move a queen in a king size bed in, <laughs> in one room. Yeah. So I'm like, that's I'm, full of furniture. Yeah, too. yeah, full of everything. Like, so I'm trying to maneuver this. I finally get shit out of there because I want to like. I'm like, okay, I'm moving the bed. Let's vacuum and clean mm-hmm. under it because I'm like, I'm I'm never under there to clean. That's fair. So I'm like, okay, get all that. Get the get the bed stand down. Put the box springs on, and then I tried moving the king size mattress, and I'm like, oh, f-. like moving it by yourself sucks. Okay, it's so massive. I finally got it and threw it down, and then I was like, oh, looks so good. I laid on it a little bit. Didn't ha- like it was just a mattress, and yep. then I was like, I don't have sheets. Yep, I was gonna ask if he gave you any sheets for it. I didn't think about it. Yeah, I was like, God damn it. Yeah, because I knew your sheets would fit. Luckily, I started my day with that. With doing this oh. movement. So I was like, at least I knew like four in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> but I started my day with it. So I was like, okay, I'll go to Walmart, get some king size sheets. From get some Walmart? Yeah, you can there, you can get sheets there. Oh, wait. No, I was sorry. I was still thinking of Menards. Oh, yeah. Where you were earlier. It's like, yeah, no, Walmart. I, I could have got sheets there probably. probably. Menards has everything. But I went to Walmart, I got some king size sheets. Dude, putting on a fucking whatever that, the fitted sheet. Mm-hmm. So fucking tough by yourself on a king. It's huge. Like, and the bed is so heavy and, and, so I did that. I went from having a bed that fit two pillows minimum. Yeah. Like, or maximum okay. w- width wise. Yes. I take, I take those two pillows off, put the king size down, take the two pillows, throw them back on. They look like fucking Tic Tacs. <laughs> like, so then I'm like, it, you didn't have a queen. You had a full. I had a full. I went right, from yeah. a full to a king size bed. <laughs> so then I had extra loose pillows. So I threw those on. It's literally like four pillows wide now. Sure. It's fucking, <laughs> dude, it's insanely massive. I, <laughs> my my, it makes my living room look so small. Now. Yeah, because it's the entire floor. <laughs> the first night I slept in it, yeah, I sit on it and I'm like, oh, oh my god, this is so comfy. Like, you know? Do you just sit in the middle? Like, do you feel like just a child in the center of it? So I I sat down on it. I have my phone plugged in. You know, I I lay down on it. You know, right next to the nightstand because my phone was plugged in. Mm-hmm. Scrolling on Instagram Reels because I deleted TikTok. Yep, just but just replaced same, it. Yeah, yeah, just basically the same thing. Scrolling on Instagram Reels. And then I was like, okay, time for bed. Mm-hmm. And I usually put my phone down and roll over. So I'm in the center of the bed. You just kept rolling. So I rolled over. And then I was like, I have four more feet. <laughs> yeah. So then I was like, well, let me at least get center on the bed. Sure. Yeah. Try that so out. So then I got center. And then I started freaking out. What? Are we just drowning in it? <laughs> because I was drowning in the bed. <laughs> the bed was so, I don't know if you've. This is the where well, if you do a full reach and can I did it. So, so I was in the center of the bed and I did a full reach around like feet and arms and I didn't I, it was just all bed it's like the terrifying moment when you're out to sea and you can't see land that, that's what it, yeah. felt like. it felt like I was drowning in this mattress <laughs> because it was so massive like literally I usually like yeah I usually like took my took my foot out or something for like, temperature control sure. or I sometimes like touching the wall for temperature control mm-hmm. with my I'd hand I'd stay against the wall but, too but, but sometimes when I was in the center of this bed I was like I can't touch I, anything. I, there's no edge. You can't even touch edge. Yeah. And, and also I was like, well, I, I got to get my foot out for temperature control. Yeah. I pulled the blanket and I kept, <laughs> because it was a king size, it was a king size sheet. <laughs> I kept pulling it and it did it. And then I finally, and then I just had so much blanket plumped sure, up. Just a pouch. Yeah. And I was just like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> I could see that being disorienting. Dude, it, 
is incredible. <laughs> but it was so I've slept on it now for four or five nights now. Okay, it's very fresh, very new. And I will say I've been sleeping so much better. Interesting. I can tell that my bed was old. Yep. And I was just used to it. And now this bed is like I I pass out. Hmm. It's also very comfy, but it's just like it is weird because I still kind of sleep just in one segment of it. Sure. A king is definitely meant for more than one person. That's fair. <laughs> The only time I've ever slept on something bigger is one of my friends has a California King. Which those are just ridiculous. Those are massive. Mm -hmm. And literally you can, it's like two beds put together. (laughs) I knew one girl who had one and like her bedroom was in like kind of like an attic space. Oh, so it was just the entire thing. It was a wall to wall. How the fuck did they get that up there? I don't know. I, th- yeah. it, I think that one had to be two beds. Yeah, probably. But it was like a Casper mattress one too. Oh. So it was like really good. It was so they weird. shipped it and yeah. then they unrolled it and they were like, we can't yeah. get this out. That's probably how yeah, they, yeah, they, they unrolled it. Yeah, they just came in a box, dude. But the king size mattress, it's fucking... If you're... I'm I'm just going to say highly recommend. Yeah. If you... If you how are looking, expensive are those? Though? I don't know. I got it for free. They've got to be crazy. Expensive. I got it for free, luckily. And the last mattress I bought was 2015. Yep. So like, I haven't spent a lot of money. The sheets weren't bad. I bought just generic Walmart sheets. Mm-hmm. I just bought like a a normal sheet, pillowcases, and a fitted sheet. So it's not like I bought a comforter and all sure. that shit. But I also bought like a, a a little bit of a thicker blanket, a king size, just thicker blanket. Walmart had like a nice one. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this will, and it, it's all gray and stuff. It looks nice, you know. But it's just like, I can't even imagine like. Because I'm sleeping in it alone. Yeah. Like two people, I think it will be perfect. Well, I think you could just not touch. Exactly. Because like I enjoy the comfort of sleeping with somebody Mm -hmm. initially or like cuddling and all that stuff. But then I like want my own space. Sure. And I've had girls sleep past 10 years, multiple, not to brag, (laughs) girls sleep on my, on my full size mattress. Uh And by multiple, I mean less than 10. Sure. That's still multiple. (laughs) Still multiple. Um, But literally... When you cuddle and all stuff, it's perfect. But then when you try having your own space, you can't. Your back, you're are, against again. the wall, or you're yep. like a, off on the edge, dude. This king, I could be diagonal and not touch anybody, <laughs> and someone else could be in there. It's it's so fucking nice, dude. But now now you should fucking bow to me. Yeah, because you're I, king. I'm a royalty, dude. <laughs> but it is weird because I I don't I don't know what to do with my queen now. I have a queen box spring and a queen mattress just leaning up in my sure. living room, and I'm like, don't know what to do with it. Because also, I can move the box room by myself, Yeah. but to to get the queen mattress, or the full-size mattress, yeah. I guess, down the stairs by myself, I just have to drag it. Yep. And that would be a scene. That would be a lot, yeah. So I don't know what to do with it, so. Yeah, I don't know, because we already have an extra bed. Yeah, so I was like. Because we have a queen upstairs. Dude, and you guys should get a king. <laughs> the issue is we could barely fit the queen into that stairwell. Through the stairwell, yeah. That's, so cause It was tough a, to get it through my no, apartment. So we had to scrunch it. But upstairs, we only have a full box spring because the queen box spring would not fit upstairs. Oh, because it's stiff. Yep. Damn. Okay. So that's an issue upstairs. It's so our, you had you have a little fluff on both on all the edges. No, so we have a lip that we hang off of because it's a. Oh, you didn't even center it. Um, I think it might be pulled to the left and then against the wall it dips in a little bit because I don't mind that. Yeah, because that's kind of nice. Because then I'm against the wall. <laughs> You're trapped yeah, so the bed is bigger than the box ring and that's a real bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what sucks about like getting it. I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll put it in my apartment. I measured it. It was like, this will fit perfectly. But then it's so big. And then I was like, oh fuck, we can, we can barely fit up the stairs. Yeah. And then also I measured it perfectly but then I re- didn't realize that like my couch sticks out a little bit. Okay. And there's a little bit of wood on my couch. So like it can't, because my air conditioning is right there, it can't go tight. So my original plan didn't work because my end table wouldn't fit. Okay. So it goes couch, end table, bed. My end, So then I had to get a different table for that and rearrange the entire, like I was like, because I just measured like wall to wall and I was like, I, I didn't realize things stick out. Sure, like yeah. I was like, fuck, dude. It's so massive. But it's, dude, when I get home and I, I could because oh. you just open the door and it's just bed. It did. It's, it's massive. Can you even walk between the bed and anything else? Yeah, dude. There's plenty of room. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it is like so I picture w- it just all the floor no. space is just well, bed. It, like because there's like it's a living room. Yeah. Like I have a cap. The couch is now centered with a TV with a night with a coffee table and then just bed. Okay. Eight feet of bed. <laughs> it's dude. It's when you come over. Once I get everything ready to go, and my office ready mm-hmm. to go. You're gonna come over and go comfy bed. bed also dope office. I'm- that's all you need. Yeah. I like, live alone. You especially like, cause you still have your vinyl space. Yeah. Got an office and a bet. Like dude, my office, I can't wait to show you. I just <laughs> bought a eight foot tall TV stand. Okay. So, cause I have a flat screen that I'm going to put in there. So I have a CRT 
with a VHS DVD player and a PS2. Fuck. And then above that's going to go a flat screen TV that's going to have HDMI to my laptop. Ooh. And then also a fire stick. And then also it's going to be connected to the DVD VHS player. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's going to be sick as fuck. Yeah, that does sound sick as fuck. And then, I, and then the way my living room or the way my office is set up. So like my tables, my desk is in there, mm-hmm. but it's so I can face the room. So I, I kind of feel like a Mr. Manager when you walk sure, in. Yeah. And then I have like a, a cuck chair. Yeah. That you can kind of hang out in. Uh-huh. And then like a, I have like a puzzle table. Like okay. dude, it's, it's puzzle dope. table right next to the cuck chair. Perfect. Well, and they're all facing the TV. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So you can fucking play PS2, watch a movie, Be a or cuck. watch someone get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> and but, this is the Moist Money podcast. Yeah, we're, we're going to talk about a lot of cuts today. <laughs> but I'm Royalty. And I'm Jacob. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the Moist Monday Podcast, episode 151, I Jesus think. Jesus Christ. Something like that. That's uh, so stupid. I'm Robert. That's I'm Jacob. Jacob. <laughs> Thanks for being a part of it. Um, just real quick, some housekeeping news. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't want to dwell on it or anything, but I just want to say that our 48-hour movie yeah. made it to Best of Fucking City. Which we've done before. Yeah, not as... Not we, as just us. Not as just us. Not as our company. Yeah. But we've made it to Best of City before helping other teams or a part of other teams. I guess like three other times combined. Yeah, this time, New Peak Productions, which is our film company, yes. made it to Best of City. So next week, if we can, 95% yeah. sure we will, we'll talk about the entire movie making experience. Unless we win the whole thing. I doubt it. But we'll see. But there's a 5% chance we could. Yes. Because there's only 12 films. Divide that by 12... What? One, carry the five, five percent chance. There you go. At least. At least, yeah. But it's insane. We yep. we made a movie at the end of August in forty eight hours, and now we're the top twelve of Des Moines. Best of city. It's only we made a second fucking, year together. Yeah, yeah, we made a fucking incredible movie. So we for sure won something. We're just not sure yet. Yeah, so we'll talk about that all next week. So if you're curious about our movie, and then also by the time that comes out, if we didn't win, which yes. we won't. But then the but whole might. movie will be out, so you'll be able to watch the movie, and then you'll yep. hear us talk about all the all the behind the scenes, all so the everything. So if we don't win, we can link to it in this description, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. cool. So okay, yeah, link below. So if we don't win, the link will be below, and if not, it will it would be the link to making moist twenty twenty four. God, if you years. just forget. But then people get excited. I won't forget. <laughs> oh, you mean the dozen of listeners? Yes. <laughs> that go, well, that there'd, click be a the... hand, there'd be a hand, a small handful that'd be really pumped for us. I mean, I'm really proud of it. Yes. And I'll talk about it a ton. And I'll save all my fucking tears. And if you like this, you're going to love it. Yeah. If, if you can listen to hours of us bullshit. Imagine the best six minutes of that. But it, also, it's not us. Yeah. We're not even in it. Yeah. At all. Which is my favorite. Wait, <laughs> yeah, so we can actually watch we it. Made, it. Yeah, we made it, but we're not in it. Which sucks because, like, when you show it, when you show people things, you're like, "Oh, that's me," and it's like, "But I made this." Yeah, like, well, it's, I, I think you're allowed to just be like, "Where I can be like, I wrote this," yeah. and you'd be, "I made." Steven this. Spielberg goes, "I fucking made Jaws." Yeah, and we go, "I fucking made this." Yeah, I mean, if you guys it's not been, as good as Jaws, if you guys have been listening, it's better than Schindler's List. I mean, blows it out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> he gets it. Um, But if you guys have been listening for a while, last year we did 48 Hour and we did Game Over. Also linked below. And then you should should check out Game Over because that movie is fun. And that movie should have made Best of City. It really should have. We're still bitter about that. I mean, there were a few things that we could have done better. And like there were a few things that were shoehorned and all this stuff. But this year, we fucking nailed it. We nailed it. Yeah. So next episode, we will talk. Yeah, we'll dive deep into it. That'll probably be most of the episode. Um, But we're back in the studio. It feels nice. We're drinking some whiskey. It's time for a segment. Moist Monday, art defects. So what the hell do we got here? So I think I made this in kindergarten. I'm pretty sure this was a kindergarten project. This is one of the worst artifacts I've seen. It's a book I wrote. Oh, it's a book. Yes, it's several pages long. We won't go through it because it's very illegible. No, let's go through it. All right. We got it. We got it. On the front, you can see it's a photo of a drawing, or not a photo, but it's a drawing of Wolverine from the X-Men. I don't know what that is. That's a penis. Yeah, there's a blue cock. It's Beast. So 
You drew Wolverine. Yeah. All yellow, but with blue feet and hands. I watched the cartoons as a child. Yeah, but it's he had he has blue in his suit. Yeah, it was kindergarten. And this is this is me. So this is this is Beast's cock. I'm saying that now. Yeah, but no. People like, that are just listening will post a photo on Instagram and social media later. But. There's a legit penis on the cover. But also remember, this is drawn by a gripped marker, like a fist drawing. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's it. That's it for sure. Penis. It, it's got a head. Yeah. It's, it's got a little fucking debt. Yeah. Dead. No, it's a circumcised penis. <laughs> so it looks like mine. If you look at the title, it's what are X-Men? But if you pay attention to how it's written, it was obvious. I wrote W.A.T. Yep. And then X Men, and I could not fit the end. He couldn't fit the end. So the end's there, and then there's a question mark written in pencil, and that is also not my handwriting, <laughs> and neither is the word R. So you literally initially wrote what, what X Men? What X me? Man. <laughs> what yeah. I X me? <laughs> yeah. So this is a fix. That's me, and that's a teacher. And I then think. someone put a, a, a pencil N at the end of that. X-Men. Might have been me. <laughs> Just tried trying fitting, to fit it trying in, to, yeah. What are, so this book is about what are X-Men? I think so. Well, let's find out. So I like how you written by Jacob at the top. Yeah, look at that name. You should bring that back. <laughs> the, What's the A? What is it? I, I don't know. It looks like a fucking like, I don't even know. It's got a thing through it. <laughs> <laughs> written by Jacob, what are X-Men Oop. starring Wolverine? Maybe. Or maybe. Maybe that's just the cover. That's how you sell it. I'm curious about this. All right. What are X-Men? It would be Swa. That's all I got from the first page. That's <laughs> what would you? It would be Pa. Swa. Swa. It would be Swa. Swa. And uh, can we describe what's going on for the audio listeners on this page? For all page right. two. I like how in the middle of the page, there's just a two. What? That's a, Isn't that two? What? Isn't there... T- Two dashes? No, that's oh, Wolverine. That's Wolverine. It looks Dumb like ass. it looks like you were doing page markers. I would say, yeah, because this will just be a photo of the screen on for the podcast viewers. Also, yeah, we're available on YouTube if you want to see my artifacts. Yeah. All right, we got a photo. Fo- it's Wolverine. Um, I'm gonna guess that saber tooth on the bottom left because I really like that movie. Everything else. So this this is um episode. Or X Men One and Two, probably. I think it's X Men One. This might be a scene from X Men One, and I just don't know who everyone else is. Next page, Eddie. What this two people? <laughs> All right. So now I see what's happening. Is it's X Men meet Super Smash Bros? Oh, because that's from or Star Fox sixty four. Because that's Fox in the middle right there. That's for sure. With Fox. the gun. Yes. <laughs> so we got Fox. We got that's Wolverine again. This guy's got a little bussy. You can see it there. Yeah, That's, and also he's got a he's got a Hitler stash. Yeah, he's got a Hitler stash and a bussy. So who's that supposed to be? No idea. Um, I have no idea who these two on the left are either. But I'm a, <laughs> and on the top, the red. My guess is that it's Samus. I really liked Samus as a kid. Okay, yeah. So it's dude. But the title of the book is what X Men. Yeah. But now it's Super Smash Bros. All right. <laughs> Zimgi, what this would Zamis good. <laughs> Shoot in the Lizen Min with the who did boot Fox. <laughs> did but Fox. So you you put Fox in there. So yes, it is so, Fox for sure. And I think this is Samus, because that looks more like Samus here. So now the X-Men aren't even in it. No. <laughs> no, this page Samus, it's and Fox. Samus and Fox and somebody else. Might be me, I don't know. But then also there's so much blank. Yes. And I like how I don't even know what the text is saying. No, because it's literally... Zing, He's reading it how it's spelled. Zing, it sounds very German. It, so maybe I was... Maybe yeah, I mean, that's where you were born. Honestly, and I'm... I, this was kindergarten. So I'd been out of... Ger- Germany was three-fourths my life at this, at this point. point. So now yeah. you're like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe. <laughs> but it's literally... Zingi what this what... Samus. That's Samus. Oh, with, Samus. Uh, the yeses are backwards. I love this. I love the recurrence of Zs. Yes. I think I would love Germany because no, so I'm a Z man. That's fair. I think all my Zs are just backward Ss because I did not know. <laughs> well, Z and S, they're interchangeable. Yeah. So it'd be Sin G, what this, what Samus good shoot in the leg, Samus, war who. Did but Fox. I wish like your teacher because she corrected the front or something or somebody. Could have, I wish they would have put like subtitles where it's like, what, like what you meant to say. Yeah, like if she would just ask me like, all right, so what's happening in this? And, and then, then and she just puts it. a little blurb, but just yeah. for memory purposes, just for because she's like, in twenty years you'll create a podcast. <laughs> in thirty years, I mean. 
knew who knew who did so. So we got Magneto. You think so? Somebody with a helmet. Or that's a force field. And then who's the guy on the ground? Samus. Samus is dead? I don't know. Or Samus is crawling. So my guess is... <laughs> dude, these, dude, these photos are wild. And there's just so much... This book is like just cardboard. Not yeah. cardboard, but like paper stock. Yeah. <laughs> but like two feet tall. And it's just massive space. Massive empty space. Fox Todd Hod did Evie he whiz. <laughs> And it's just a photo of Fox from the side. Fox told him. Fox told him. That's what I'm thinking. That says Fox Dick told him. If he was. So I'm guessing WZ is was. W A S. No who did so. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what the story is going on. But also, is, we haven't seen X Men in a long time. So, so this could be just a rip off. What of are X Men? No, I'm saying we have not seen an X Men in this comic. In, oh yeah, oh, yeah. In a while. There's but, there's a couple pages left. But then what's the what's the ending? Yeah, I'm curious how do we the, wrap this up? How do we end this? Oh, there's nothing. At the, that was it. <laughs> it just ended. <laughs> two blank pages. Oh, there's a post credit scene. It's got a little X on it. Oh, I think this is the owner of the blue cock. <laughs> but it's coming out of his butt. No, is it's his R. To, oh, it's supposed to continue. I don't know. What the fuck? But that was what our X Men. And that was the Moist Monday artifact. That one. It, I like the journey of that one, but also, I have more actual books written from kindergarten that also, are a little bit easier to follow. Than okay. That. Also, what are you should work on the endings? That's fair. Yeah. It's a writer. Yeah, that's fair. The third act had but a also, lot of issues. Jacob's been writing for 25 years and I finally <laughs> got nominated for something. We'll see what it is. I mean, we got nominated. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking wild. Um, I don't want to, change the subject from kids to adults too quick. Wait, but, but I do have another kid segment we can oh, talk about. Oh, let's do another kid yeah. segment now because I'm going to get really adult Here's with our kid segment. I don't know if we have a graphic for this, but we're going to have one now. All right, so this is about my d- dear niece, who I love so much. And her name is Dear Niece. Yes, <laughs> Dear Niece. <laughs> That's an Arrested Development joke. Yeah, my dear niece, Dear Niece. <laughs> All right, she is four. Um, I have talked about her bushy eyes before. Yes, she was born with a fully developed soul. Like the idea that reincarnation might be true, she kind of makes me believe in it more because. It seems, seems like she's she not new. <laughs> like my nephew, who is like two and a half. Well, yeah. Doesn't she talk about like her past lives all the time? Or <sighs> she's talked about things and we've tried to be and like, she's like, and she's four. Yes. She's, <sighs> she just knows shit. <laughs> also, by the way, I don't remember if I ended up actually saying this. So last, <laughs> last episode was dedicated to my dear <laughs> great grandma, Peggy. Yeah. But, um, when, when Gra- Grandma Peggy died, my grandma called, I don't know if my parents were around my niece or not, or if this was when my sister got a call, but my grandma called, left like a little bit of a message where it was her crying, just saying, hey, you need to call me back. And my niece heard this and then she said, oh, somebody got got. So, somebody got got? So also- what we, the hell? We don't say kill or die around the kids. Same with like if it's a if we're playing with like a toy gun, we try not to say shoot just because they're harsher words. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So death is got him. It's like so. She, she said so, that sounds like a fucking mob. Guy. I know. She, it looks like someone got got. Peggy got got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But like they were playing with a toy gun and that was like a pew pew or something like that yeah. instead of like I shot him. I like got. It's, I it's got just, him. It's just yeah. trying to get rid of like harsher words. Well, and also that makes him not as sensitive. Sensitive. It's not as real. Also, it, them not, as, yeah. it means they can talk out loud more yeah. to around other people without us being worried of what someone got. Is said. Got. Yeah. Uh, real quick though, before you continue this, mm-hmm. Steve, you brought up the Steve Buscemi eyes, yeah. <laughs> which is makes sense. I've yeah. seen photos, uh, but I saw a meme on. I don't know if it's a meme. I'm getting older. I don't know if I'm using that word correctly, <laughs> but I saw a thing where it was like, picture Mila Kunis. Okay. Hot as fuck. Yeah. Most people would have would do her. <laughs> now picture Mila Kunis. This is during the kids section. Yep. Now <laughs> picture Mila Kunis. Exact same except with Steve Buscemi's eyes. Okay. Would you still fuck her? <laughs> and then and then there was a photo 
Nope. No. <laughs> okay. Dude, it, it, it takes away so much. Get he, rid of Mila Kunis' eyes. He looks like eyes. Randall from Monsters, Inc. But, I then, think he but then it has a sexy body. Yeah. <laughs> like... Yeah, I just thought it was funny. Okay. It reminded me. Okay, oh, back, to, me back to the kids, kids yeah. segment. <laughs> All right. So she's said some weird shit. She's done some weird shit. Sh- or she's done some weird shit, too. And she just acts not older, but just more weathered. Yeah, which is why. Yeah, because she is. It, it feels like she's lived a life while you've talked to and her. And she's four. Yeah. Which is insane because I don't even remember anything from four. No. And she has also been has. She's had a perfect life. Has been very spoiled. But unprompted one night, she said this to my sister, who is her mom. Mama, when I got him, I want you to bring all of my stuff to my funeral so everyone can see the things that I loved. And I want you to tell people about all the lovely stuff we did together. Oh, my God. I just want to stay alive. (laughs) Okay. What? When I got him. So So when she dies. When... Okay, okay. So, so I, thought, I thought that initial sentence was when I killed him. No, so got him is just death. Okay, when I die. Yes. I want... <laughs> I want you to bring all the, my stuff to my funeral so everyone can see the things that I loved. So... So now she's she's materialistic, but, but she's four. Well, no, she understands that she... Ha- she is very aware of how good she has that's it. All, but it's also insane that she's also worried about death. Yes, and that's... That's not good. No. Anxiety at four years old? Yeah, no, she is so... I mean, oh I told the story God. before that she is terrified of death already because... Well, that's crazy because you're calling it got him. <laughs> well, no, because she got... One way she got terrified of death, I think I told this on the story on the podcast, is that one day she was hanging out with my mom and my mom... They were talking about the idea of like... Gran, or about moms. Yeah. So she's her grandma, but her mom's mom. It's a weird picture your mom is a grandma, but yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. But, and it was, I think they were joking about the step on a crack and you hurt your mom's back. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it, it didn't matter if my mom did it because her mom was dead or oh, her geez. mom has been got. Jesus. <laughs> then they talked about death and just the idea of it a little bit. And this girl is four, but my mom does not bullshit. Yeah. Your mom is like, well, she's fucking worms are in her. Yeah. <laughs> and so. I yeah. can't wait. I can't wait to have Anne on the pod. <laughs> yeah, she does want to be. I I want her on the podcast too because I think she'll get weird with it. I just want to get drink wine with her, it, even though she's not a wine mom. She's not a wine mom, but I just want to do that. But so then after this conversation, my niece said to my sister, "Is just Grandma said I'm gonna die." Oh Jesus! <laughs> and then my sister goes, "She did," and then the, my niece just starts crying. So she's I mean, been scared of death. Yeah, I mean that's not. You do die. People do. Especially like, if you get to 41. When also, like, you watch Disney sh- movies and, like, somebody dies in all of them. Which is wild because that's a kid's movie. Yeah. It's but a PG, like, that's how they PG all movie. Start. Yeah, but then also just the, and I want you to tell people of all the stu- lovely stuff we did. And she said lovely. Yeah, so it sounds like she's, she's, she wants people to talk about the memories we've had together. <laughs> so she's already getting remorseful or, like, like, what is that the right word? Because what I texted back is, like, I, like, at least she knows... I mean, she has a, a good life. That's an amazing speech. She's very appreciative of the life she has. It's a four-year-old that wrote that speech. I couldn't have written a better no. speech than that. But then just the, oh my God, I just want to stay alive. Yeah, it's she's getting sad. Insane. So it's, it's like someone has a gun at her. It's yeah. morbid. But. Well, it's just like, yeah, she knows like, I I won't be. So just like, they're just hanging out. It's like a Tuesday night. And then all of a sudden she comes up and she just says, hey, mama. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's also why there's like a, a child's brain is just like, Thinking so because they have everything's new to them, you know what I mean? Like, so, so that's why it doesn't feel like it. Because then she says she describes, I think, anxiety and depression. This child, oh, there's more. So she calmed down and then she said, I just needed some help getting bad feelings out of my noggin. <laughs> what is her vocabulary, <laughs> right? What is her? <laughs> Oh my god! It's, not, it's like she, it's like she's kind of being humorous about it. The way she's saying it. Well, it's because my family does use not like like because like I went I don't know if noggin is kids' term or if it's just old timey. Because also I remember one time she was noggin. Walking, I've never heard anybody say noggin. No, um, she, one time we were watching like a sports thing. I wasn't there for this, but someone got hit in the head with like a ball or something, and then she goes, "Oh shit!" Right in the noggin. <laughs> and it's like, God damn. That's like, hilarious. She's, no, she's so funny. It's weird. And she knows it's, she's it's, funny. It's the words. It's not like right yeah. in the head. Yeah, noggin's yeah, a while. I, I just need some help getting bad feelings out of my noggin. It's, it, it's terrifying out of a four-year-old. And then she says, Mama, 
can I tell you something I never told you before? <laughs> point, she's four. I know my <laughs> sister. <laughs> she's secret. I know my sister is terrified. Yeah, what point. the hell? Why did you give us this new house? You took us away from our other house. It had just two rooms and a basement. She remembers that they moved houses. They were eight, she was eight months old when they moved out of there. How the fuck does she remember that? <laughs> so she just says all that shit to my sister. Because also, dude, it, yeah, it does sound like based on that sentence, it sounds like she's another person. Yeah, like she's already been it's alive. Just like she's like she's. It sounds like she's older than she is. Yes, and it felt like this That's, for a long dude, I'd time. I'd be so freaked out. <laughs> And also just what are you saying <laughs> but like i because like i hang out with her and like if she asks me a questions i answer honestly and she doesn't ask me like really yeah, you guys, weird you guys are all honest yeah well it's also I mean, honest if you can be. like most of what her and i talk about is like when we're like playing a game or something it's usually just a game she makes up and then i fuck and you, around and you know, and i so, got you yeah and you kill her <laughs> <laughs> um well she, we, we were playing with a toy gun the other day yeah. and that's where the pew pew came yeah. in but like if she shot me, I would like fake dead. And at one point, um, she and you uh, fake and you fake blood. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, we do that as yeah, a family. You yeah. fake blood because if you, well, as a baby, we taught her slit the throat. Oh yeah, it was really cute because she just go slit your throat and then you go blah, 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 and yeah, that's, like all like grip it. And, like, I mean, it's cute, but it's fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> the issue is when she then like started doing it with toy knives. And we're like, all right, yeah, because then she'll grab a real knife someday. And then she grabs a real. Well, because she also tab learned how to like stab. <laughs> That's how Ted Bundy was created. No, Ted Bundy. He was raised by thinking that his mom, or that his sister was actually his mom. Wait. So, Ted Bundy's mom was very young when she had him. So, when she gave birth, instead, she pretended like her mom was his mom. Oh, but it... It, it was oh. actually his grandmom. Yikes. And then later in life, he killed women who had a similar hairstyle as his actual mom, who was... He thought was his sister So that's what happened with Ten Buddy We're not fucking this kid up that bad But <laughs> they, I mean I'm nervous <laughs> I mean But it's still kind of cute It And at four years Dude it's wild It's wild she's saying these things at four years old Yes Like I don't know what age is But if I don't even know Me, if I talked at four That's the weird thing like, is it, it's like, Yeah I'm not sure picturing, what a four year old like, is Because the, the earliest memory I have is like maybe first grade I have a Maybe can, Maybe I remember a little bit of the house I grew up with up in in Sioux City, so okay. maybe the kindergarten. Because I have, but like, how old is that? Six. Yes. Yeah. So that's two years Cause after. I, I have like three moment memories of Germany, and that would be when I was three and four. Okay, so you do remember that. I, but I have moments. Just moments. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, so she's saying insane sentences that I don't know how to handle. But also, yeah, like she pretended to kill me once and then she brought me back to life. And then I started screaming of just like, I was in heaven. <laughs> Damn, she, okay, that's that's how you fuck. And then she just went like her fa her smile was gone. She was just like, oh, God. And it was she actually, yeah, because they don't know. Kids don't know how to do bits, Jacob. <laughs> she she knows bits. Yeah, but not she that She internalizes type of bit. them, yeah. though. She and, takes bits to. Yeah. I love the bit you told uh, months ago on the podcast about like uh, the scare bit where people would run into the room or but which, I don't know if it was a scare bit but like she kept like setting things up and people run into the room yeah, but she was jumping too yeah, to, yeah she it was I built a false wall and then she'd pop in and like yell something yeah but then she was going too hard and there was a wall on the other end and I she love kept that. hitting the wall <laughs> no I mean it's she's why that she's only four dude. yes I'm curious what I'm curious like once time goes on like how she's gonna develop and like I'm I'm nervous that like it it will develop maybe real anxiety. Her something. anxiety does stress yeah. me out because too, she's yeah. already like, you can tell she's already kind of stressed about well, things. Because yeah, not too long ago I told you about when she learned about what a tornado was. Yeah, because we have a lot of those in Iowa. We've had a lot lately and we've, too. We've, we've had bad storms in Iowa. Like, bad, like, bad storms in the Midwest. Where like a uh, siren will go off and like since because like I don't do anything when a siren goes off, but my sister has two kids, so you, she's you, you got to do the practice. She's got to take them. Not even practice. Like there is a tornado. Yeah, Technically, school. the safest place is the basement. Where like for me, I would rather be up here. Yeah, than I, the slept basement. In the, I slept in the basement so much as a kid. Did you from tornadoes? Yeah. Every I, time there was a fucking alarm, we would all go in the basement and sleep on a cot. It sucked. Nice. Yeah. And that was in my old house from the basement. It was terrible. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so she taught her about this, but then like, so she had to explain what a tornado was and like what it actually does because like it's real. This is technically, I mean, it is yeah, it's, actually it's a real, it's a real emergency. <laughs> so after she learned about tornadoes, just one night she just is sitting there and she goes, <sighs> and my sister goes, what's wrong, honey? And she's just like, 
I'm just gonna miss this house. Jesus <laughs> Christ, dude! And she's then she, already fucking. And then she just like puts a hand on my or my nephew's like leg and just goes, "Oh, buddy." <laughs> <laughs> she's just like, "It's weird, Jacob." T- for people listening, I hope Jacob touched my knee. Sure, he made me very uncomfortable. <laughs> He's got very wet. <laughs> you had a cold knee. <laughs> I mean. Human touch did feel good though. <laughs> Especially in the king bed. You can touch me later. <laughs> yeah. I got room for you at home. <laughs> All right. We can talk about that in just a second. But yeah, but that's been my watching her grow up has been so fucking interesting. Yeah, and also like, yeah, that I what's wild is I can't even imagine being an uncle. Sure. And like I well, cause, like, cause I feel like being an uncle would be so fun. It is. It's because, a lot of fun. And because, I and I i I love my uncle so much and my uncle and I grew up watching movies together. Okay. And we still like go like he came down a few weeks ago and we went he texted me like a month prior and he's like, Hey, can I drive three hours? He lives three hours away. Okay. Can I drive three hours to you to go watch the Deadpool and Wolverine? Oh, movie? that's who you want. Okay. Yeah, Deadpool and Wolverine. And I was like was it better than my book? Uh, yeah. Was, they both had third act problems. Yeah. <laughs> Still pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I saw it in theaters. Um, but then, but he, he's willing to, because that's what we grew up doing. Yeah. Like he came down when the, when the, uh, um, the new, the new Batman came out. Okay. He came out and we saw that in theaters. Was comic book movies just a thing for you guys? Well, we, we grew up watching James Bond. Oh, James Bond okay. was a good thing. Um, so that's where your James Bond passion came from. Uh, that and then also Thanksgiving marathons. Sure. Thanksgiving marathons. And then also, um, I remember one year for his, I think it maybe was 30th birthday. I think he, he just turned 50. So maybe it was 40th birthday. Sure. Uh, we did a surprise party at a theater. Like, nice. like literally like, uh, cause he loves movies. And uh-huh. I love, maybe that's where my movie thing came from. Maybe. Um, but he loves movies. So like literally... He was going to a movie with a friend and then he shows up and everyone's there. Nice. And we saw, I, I I was really young, so I don't know if it's the same memory or a different memory, but I'm pretty sure we saw like this like sports movie about golf. Okay. The greatest show or the greatest. It was pretty good. Greatest showman. Is, it, no, it yeah, wasn't yeah. greatest showman, but okay. it was like the greatest game. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Something, something like that. Is that a Shia LaBeouf one? Yeah. 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 I, I, th- I think so, but it was about golf and yeah. it was pretty good, but that was like a surprise birthday party with him. And so like, I'm. it's weird picturing that you're an uncle and I'm picturing mm-hmm. my uncle that you have an uncle and I'm like, I'm your, I'm your <laughs> nephew in, in this, in my sure. situation. So it's like, yeah, well, cause it's my, cool. It's cool. All relatives work. <laughs> cause, uh, my nephew though, he's just the sweetest kid. He's, he's one and a half, right? Two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. So does he talk at all? Yes. It's sentences, but it's garbled. Yeah. Where you just like, you, she was definitely better at talking at two than he is. So it's it's but like I, it's he, like your book a little bit, yeah. And Where, you were like five when you because also this. a lot of him is um, movie quotes. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. And well, he because, just goes <laughs> because my my sister's the same. He as, just goes. You say we'd have fun. what's the thing from Die Hard? <laughs> I was gonna quote. I was gonna quote the the Die Hard thing. Which is get on a plane, have a good time, have a good time. <laughs> like he doesn't speak at all, but he goes. He says that. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm trying to think of the big ones he does. Uh, because uh, recently he, I don't know if she showed him this or she just like taught him about this. It's Labyrinth. Oh, okay. Where he'll just go, don't go that way. And he'll just say but that he'll do to it me. in a voice. Yeah. He does voices a lot, which is great. That's that's awesome teaching voices. Um, he's well So it, they're having a great they're having great childhood. Yes, no, they are fucking killing which it. Which is insane that she has so much anxiety. Yes, I because, and that's the like, thing she's where having an amazing childhood. Well, that's kind of where it's like, oh right, you are born with shit. But, but also but also child like they're experiencing they're learning about everything, everything at the same time. And also, I get that. Yeah, it, death. That's anxiety. Yeah. We're we're numb as fuck to yeah. it, dude. But also, if I really think about it, I get freaked out. Yeah, exactly. Of just the idea of that, the idea of like, oh, you don't think anymore. Well, I, I got twelve years left. Right, <laughs> forty one. Forty one, baby. Almost eleven. But also, I will say he's a dinosaur kid. It's fucking weird how smart he is. They're yeah. both dinosaur kids now, though. Dinosaur, that's that's a good thing to learn. And also, like, so, no, but they like can, can they say, like, the full names of shit? Of ones you've never heard of. Like, a Stagio Stephosaurus and shit like that. or <laughs> Yeah, just, like, shit, I don't know. And also, they... And you just go, oh, cool. Oh, and then my niece yells at me because I say pterodactyl. Apparently, pterodactyls aren't real. They're called pterodons. 
whoa, but they, I, that's not how we grew up. Yeah, no, and I'm you, not. You go, you go, that's not what we learned. No, and I, <laughs> I say it as much as I can just so she corrects me. Because also I like the idea of, of that she's her, smarter than you. Yeah. In and, some, yeah. and like that she actually, that she is correcting well, me. Well, it's well that dinosaurs are still a kid's thing in 2024 because we grew up in the 90s and I mean, dinosaurs were a thing too but also dinosaurs we were had, massive we had Jurassic, we had Jurassic Park, Park yeah. and then also we had the dinosaur animation movies just the one no there was multiple oh Land Before Time Land Before I Time I meant dinosaur no I'm talking like we had yeah. so many and then like so many dino- yeah, dinosaurs were non-stop yeah I think they have seen the first Jurassic Park Dr- which that's terrifying I think they cried at some scenes but like they liked it what well, is dinosaur the movie I'm thinking picturing of an animation of like the egg cracking what movie is that? You know what I'm talking about? Maybe. And then... Dinosaur, it ends with the meteors coming. Oh, okay. And they all die. There's a, there was a lot of dinosaur shit in the 90s. So that's yeah. why we grew up with it. I think... Actually. But dinosaurs but have not, always been a kid thing. But the, but there's not a lot of dinosaur shit nowadays. I mean, you got the new Jurassic World. But also, you still have all of that. That's true. You could just... Yeah, still, you can... Because yeah. it holds up. It's fascinating. Yeah. Stegosaurus. I had so many dinosaur books as a kid. No, but like they... And then I remember as a kid actually read them and know them but i remember as a kid we went to the field museum yep which is one of my favorite museums in general in chicago yeah no, and he, i remember walking in and seeing the t-rex sue. and i go holy fuck no he know he can tell you facts about sue. that's amazing and he's two and a half like the words i are think they all, would love the field museum they've been several times oh, they, yeah oh, no okay. he knows sue damn that's yeah. sick and we're drinking i mean not to nate but pseudo sue yeah true top of the goliath is a sponsor it wasn't based on it, but I, it, it, I, I think it's it, partially it, it now named, is, yeah. yeah, which is sick. Yeah, it's weird watching kids learn. And because also like, because they're... And seeing what, like, they're getting so much information seeing what takes. Yes. Because a lot of, some shit just goes over their head, but sometimes it's just like something sticks and they and they go, I'm scared of this now. That's that's the weird thing. Because yeah, I anxiety. remember one time a bug got it, when we were at Disney, a bug got into their like carrier case whatever and she freaked out and then she's had issues with bugs ever since oh because it was a scarring moment well, because this is her first was, time dealing with bugs well, yeah not first time but she was, a bug was stuck in with her yeah that's scary and like so like that was I a don't weird like bugs thing. but I'm like fucking 29 years old no and that's true like yeah you have a weirder bug thing than i do yeah so i think I hate she'll them. have bugs a weird bug yeah, thing for a long she's time like, that's that's where my phobia started and it's and then so in 20 years when she starts a podcast she'll talk about that yeah <laughs> And then we'll have all, have her on our podcast. Right, yeah, but hers will probably be bigger than ours. <laughs> yeah, because she's a girl. <laughs> and she had anxiety since she was four. <laughs> but Izzy and I talked about recently because we're so back and forth on having kids. Yeah, because um, you guys, I remember early on, well, and also I've known you for fucking mm-hmm. forever. We've both been like talking about kids forever. We both have names of ideas and yeah. stuff like this. And then like when you were dating Izzy for a long time, you're like, okay, our plan is to like you get, get married, have kids. And then all of a sudden you got engaged. And then you told me you were like, I don't, our, our plan right now is not to have kids. So it's just that the world keeps getting weirder. Yeah. So it's like, so it's, it's kind of weird how when you get older, your perspective changes. I mean, it's back and forth. Cause before Izzy and I met, I wanted a vasectomy. I was just like, I'll just call it now. That makes sense. Cause your number is high. <laughs> Well, and also of just people like, you slept with. Yeah, <laughs> but also just like you know, take it out of the equation because I'm pro right. And I've heard I've heard recently it's quick, easy, and it's just recovery, and mostly effective. Yeah, yeah. But like Izzy and I will go through, like it's not like spurts of wanting kids. That's uh, I would I would love to have kids if we can responsibly. Yeah, is that, the thing. That's the part. Is like well, the fact that you, you are both self aware about that. Yes. That you're thinking about like, okay, can we actually do this instead of just like being like, oh, there's a kid. Let's figure it out. Because because that's that's what a lot of people do, I feel like. Yeah. If we just like we've talked about, like if we just happen to get pregnant now, we would be OK. It yeah. would not be preferable, but, but, we would, but you would you would figure it out. Yes. Yeah. And that would be fine. But also like she's still on the pill and all that shit. So we're fine. Pop the pill out, baby. But if like. If we did have kids, I do think it would be really interesting to watch you because you would be around this kid once a week. Yeah. Minimum. Like, yeah. Like you would. And you already see the way I act around your cats. That's true. Yeah. I just come in and go and start petting them. <laughs> well, yeah, I just think it'd be funny. Like the idea of having a kid grow up. Well, with, I, that would be the, that would be the, that I'd be an honorary uncle. You would be an uncle at that point. Like, because I, I, well, I won't be an uncle for a long time. If, right, yeah. if ever yeah, you got, if ever you got two lesbians and a rock star in your family yeah i guess you have a whole other family but like 
you're not going to be an uncle to those kids. Yeah, that's true. But they're all living like they're living like on. The, so I, my parents are divorced. I have two families. Yeah, I'm mostly on my mom's side for people that are new. To Do the you podcast. only have two families? Yeah. Does your Does your dad only have one family? Uh, I don't. I I only consider. I like I don't know how many kids he had with how many people. He and didn't how, have any more kids. So he only has kids with two people. Yes. Yes. All the other people he okay. married had kids. So oh. I don't consider those at all. Yes, I don't okay. I don't need to meet them. I don't know if he had like two or three kids with each. No, dude, that'd be insane. Because well, how many rides was it? Five? Yeah, he's been married five times. <laughs> um so I was the first baby. First and worst. <laughs> um I mean Well, one's dead. Yeah, the so second was worst. Or wait. No, he was like fourth. Right, yeah, no, because that yeah, that was younger than your current siblings. Yeah. He, right. he was the youngest. So the fourth is the worst. Fourth is the worst. I mean, he would have been a great kid. That's true. His name was fucking Armstrong, dude. What a name. That's you, an all or nothing kind you of call situation. Him Army? Ooh. Man, that didn't arm? work for Army Hammer. Yeah. We got sad. <laughs> <laughs> but on my on my dad's side, so I got two brothers and a sister. Okay. Uh, my sister has a serious boyfriend, but she's super into her career of doing photography, uh, doing videography. Like she's like super busy. I don't think she's planning on having kids at least for a while, but also they're way younger than me. Like she's 22. Maybe my other brother on that side is 23. He's an engineer, makes great money, but lives in a super small town. And he just likes playing video games. Like he just likes doing his own thing. Playing video games, I think he has a roommate. Like he just like hates hanging out. And then my other brother is at Iowa State. He's in college on that side, and he is super smart, super cool, but very autistic. All right, so, so like yeah, that's a and so it's like I don't. I'm not gonna. Have, I'm not gonna be an uncle for a while. That's fair. Yeah. Even on both sides. Yeah. Now on the other side, two lesbians and a rock star. Yeah, exactly. Unless my, the rock star gets accidental pregnant. Yeah. But that could be like a whole like, well. I only see him when I go to that city. That's true. Yeah, I feel like my no, you bro- haven't seen him when you go to that city. No, I've, I've, no, I feel like it's his perspective. Oh, if sure. he's a kid. Yeah, I feel like my brother. I'm saying it right now is going to become like a famous rock star. I possibilities the pot the possibilities there. There's no reason he wouldn't. There, yeah, there's no. The talent is there. Yeah, the, yeah. the style is so, there. So I picture him like a Taylor Hawkins. Sure. Where like he blows up, joins a band, and then it's like Dies. okay, <laughs> don't. <laughs> well, we all die. Yeah, that's true. I've already had got one. him. I've already had one brother. No, that's already true. Already one brother that got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but that, I, that is a talk we've had though. Is like my niece cannot die now that she's calling the shot. Like we're terrified of that now. Of like, then what do we all do? Yeah, what happens if your niece gets cancer? <laughs> if if she knows, I don't even want to say it. <laughs> yeah, but like if she knows that something yeah, happens, you can't bring up anything that happened to Ashlyn. Right? Yeah. I mean, you're, I mean, be, your, your sister. <laughs> yeah, she'll internalize it. Yeah. Yeah, but like if if. If my brother were to get pregnant, it'd be so funny. He's like on tour, he sleeps yeah. with a chick, and then it's like he, she's a kid. Just and it's a like, kid there, yeah. We just go. I only see him when I. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't, we, that's not part of the family. Yeah. <laughs> also, it's not like you care about the family. Family. No, I don't really care about a lot of things. To be I honest. think my mom did. Like she got really into ancestry for a while. Yeah, my mom's super into it too. But and does it feel? Does it feel cool to be an uncle? Yes, it like, feels yeah, great. Yeah. Because so I feel like you get a, you it's get, fun. You get to have fun, and then you can be like, when anything gets bad or weird, you can go, "Oh yeah, I'm out." Yeah, just step back. Yeah, you just, the you're great, there for the fun parts. Because now that they're old enough, because she was weird when she was like young, young, like she was kind of nothing until she was like one and a half. Like as a baby, you couldn't like get anything yeah, out of you're her. You're just holding, and you go, "Oh wow." No, you like get. couldn't make her smile, couldn't make her laugh. Where like my nephew, she's an old soul. Like I could like play she had anxiety as a baby. Yeah, probably just, <laughs> don't drop me. Don't drop me. <laughs> But like my nephew, like you could play with when he was like a baby and he would like giggle and stuff. He, it's weird because he looks a lot like me as Whoa, a child. He's bald and has a beard. <laughs> no, he looks like me when I was a kid where it's the bright blonde hair. He comes out with, comes out with tattoos. <laughs> that is one of my favorite things that if they do um, stick on tattoos, oh. they always say it's like me. Because also they call me Debu, which I fucking love. What's day? De- what is that? So my sisters called me Daydubs. Which is Jacob, but like dumb. Day dubs. Okay. Yeah, day dubs. Yeah. And then they try to get the kid to call me that, but then she went Debu instead. So that's just Debu. what stuck. That, that's cool that you have a fucking unique name. And it's a name a baby could call and me. I, but also, I feel like they'll always, if they grow up with that, mm. even when you're 50 and they're 30, that's my hope. They're going to be like, oh, my uncle Debu. Yeah. 
Because I have an uncle that I've only ever called Uncle Awesome. Well, my my uncle, I call my uncle Jimbo. Yeah. He doesn't, he went by, he went by that when he was younger. So he doesn't, he goes by James or Jim now. Sure. But I always call him my uncle Jimbo. So like, like that's I, what I grew up on. Izzy wants you to be Bobbert. She calls me that all the time. And she called you it at work. And I heard that you got mad because other people started calling you that. I didn't get No. Okay. You, I didn't get mad. She's she so scared of you getting mad at her at work. Right. Yeah. Because Izzy and Robert are co-workers now, which is weird for me. How too. did I get mad at him? I think because people or I guess she assumed you got mad. Well, because, she, no, she showed around. They just go. Oh, yeah. We call him Bobbert. Yeah. They just out of the blue to <laughs> other co-workers. And I just go. Only I, you. I literally go. No one's called me that. Like, I don't get mad. I just go, yeah. you've also, you've never said that to me. I've heard her say it before. Maybe once. <laughs> it's not like she, but then, but now every time I see her at work, she goes, Bob, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> but also when people go, it's usually, it, that's usually what starts the conversation. They go, oh, oh uh, what do you like to be called? Sure. Because I go, your name's Robert. Do you like being called Bob, Robert? And I go, I literally don't care. Yeah. But you're Robert. Yeah. So you turned me up. Um, but then I go like, I do prefer Robert. Yeah. But you can literally, you can call me whatever. I don't care. Chicago Rob. Chicago Rob. People call me, people call me like Robbie in college. Really? I mean, it, you're, you're one semester. I mean, it was a cute girl. So I allowed, okay. yeah. I allowed it. I allowed it. Um, people call me Rob, when which I is was, weird. When I was single, I don't know how cute a girl would have to be to call me Jake. Yeah. You get mad at Jake, even and, though your name's Jacob. And then the one coworker we... Have and people call you Jake all the time, and at, it's like people just assume that it's shortened. There's one guy that works you work with often who introduces me as Jake to everybody. <laughs> also, our manager did too, yep. and that pissed me off. People call you Jake, and like they it always starts with them asking, especially like if it's a manager, Jake or Jacob. I'm always Jacob, Jacob, and I I'll it's even, so weird because you're not a Jake. No, and I Jake hate is a different Jake. personality. Yes, I'm like I've never been Jake. I'm gonna start calling you Jake, Jake Wit. Ugh. That sounds oh, so a, much. That sounds so much grosser than his real name, Jacob White. So a weird thing with having a niece or a nephew or just a kid around is now that my family has to reference me as Debu in front of them, Ooh. including Izzy. Ooh, because Izzy has said Jacob in front of her, and then my niece will call me Jacob, and then instantly I'm a dick to her. <laughs> Where if she says to Izzy or your niece, no, to my niece, if she's like Jacob, will you come play with us? I'm like Jacob, fucking won't. And then I shove her. Like I'll no Jacob is you me. shove you uh, shove your four year old niece. I shove those kids so much, it's so fun. Jacob, okay, so you're a bad uncle. No, there's always padding everywhere. Oh, like a bush. So, no, <laughs> no. Um, there's um <laughs> love sacks. There's like three love sacks at that house. Why do they have so many love sacks? Because I don't know. My <laughs> yeah, why my brother in law was really into him when he was I mean, in college. That's fun. Yeah. No, so that's one to get pushed onto. Yeah, too. no, it's that or like a big sectional couch where I can like if I get them in the air, <laughs> yeah. I can like. And if not, you just push another stairs. Yeah, I mean, just like yeah, they'll learn. It's debut because also they're tall and they won't remember because <laughs> they're throwable too. Which is that's <laughs> no because that's Christ. when I knew I could be. <laughs> they're throwable. So I am not a fun uncle until they can support their own head. Yeah, that's the weird part when it's like, yep. <laughs> no, I will not hold a baby that cannot support its own head because I don't want to worry about that. Yep. So now that both of them are at the point where I can like rough house with them, where I can pick them up and they're not whining it is about wild it. That the head is so massive when you're born. Yes. <laughs> and the body's just like, <laughs> and it's useless. Everything <laughs> on a baby is so useless. It's just the head. <laughs> yeah. So, the, yeah. And like, I finally reached the point where when I, Get to their place. It's a hug at the door. That's all I wanted. Oh, that's nice. Is them they're yell excited. my name and run to me and, and hug me at the door. They're excited for you and then also sad when you leave. Yes. And that's always so Have annoying. you ever had, I mean, they're still a little young and this is one of my favorite things growing up, mm -hmm. uh, having weekends with their uncle. They have, well, the issues are houses unstable. Yes. Um, but, and also they're younger, but I remember when I was like maybe eight or nine years old, Sure, I would go, also my uncle lived three hours away. Mm -hmm. He's always lived three hours away. So I would like, my parents would meet halfway. It's like I was going to visit my dad. Sure. I was going to hang out with my uncle. And we would literally go and spend the night at his place. Get We'd get fucking food, watch movies. Like, it, it was, we'd play video games. Yeah. Like, it was like, I'm going to hang out with my uncle. Like, yeah, we haven't done that yet. I've spent the night at their place. And I like, mean, you guys live in the same town, so yeah. it's not the same experience. Or same area. Same area. But, like, I, I think it would, maybe not for your niece, uh, but, but maybe, like, when you're, uh, nephew gets older yeah that might be kind of fun to be like well because like that was I, mean, I, did, my... I did i did that when when my brother was a little bit older 
Oh, sure, when I was yeah. like 20 and he Wait, was like 11. Yeah, he'd come and actually hang he out He came with to you. my apartment and I made him frozen pizza. And I I don't remember if I got drunk, but I I fed him a ton of pop. Sure. Like, and made frozen chicken nuggets. And, and like, like, been like, mom sucks, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like, very much do that. And, yeah. and, and it was just... It, he oh, break the rules he bring, weekend. He brings it up so much. He goes, that was one of my favorite weekends. Because we literally made music together. Oh, he nice, was, yeah. He was so good at music. I and, remember and that. And also it was like, we drank soda and ate frozen food and then washed whatever we wanted mm-hmm. and, and I was like let's cuss like sure, I was like yeah. you know what I was like yeah, this mom's is a, not here this is a fun weekend like I was like it was fun cause growing up um, there were cause my aunt my two aunts I was really close to that I really loved both lived in Nevada so it was a time when uh, me and my sisters like hit like 13 or 14 they would send us off to them for a week oh that's cool so one at a time did you too. like fly yes so I flew alone the, that's scary yeah they lost my luggage holy fuck so they we had to buy like shitty clothes from target like the week i got there Damn. yeah and like that's where like i spent like half the week with my one aunt who was very like family and we like went on a hike and like my cousins were close to me and then i then i went with my other aunt and uncle and they're a little more, more like bougie Ooh, and so, so you, me, so like, you snowboarding. like two different worlds yeah yeah like one was like reno and the other was like lake tahoe it was so nice. Damn, that's fun. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's, and it was a vacation a just like they all, it was a week revolved around me. Yeah, that's a vacation for you. Mm-hmm. Dude, as a kid, that's awesome. Yeah, and there was like, when you can, dude, all fly, my aunts and uncles and yourself, cousins. Yeah. You're like, this is scary, but you're like, I'm, a, you feel like you're like, this is for me. It's a little bit like Kevin McAllister. Like you get a little bit of like that. A little bit ego of alone where you, where you go, where you go. Oh, I can do whatever I want. Yeah, I'm important. But also, like, at that point, you're having a vacation to yourself, and also, you don't have to worry about money at all. No. You literally show up and go, people go, what do you want? You go, I want a chocolate shake. No. And um, they go, <laughs> and they go, okay, he's having a chocolate shake for Brennan. So that, so that you can order whatever you want. That included my wardrobe. So I was walking around. Oh, you went shopping? Because they lost my luggage. Oh, fuck. So we, the airport gave us money. So I went around and I bought the dumbest shirts I could find. <laughs> it's just all John Cena. No, so it was like. No, you weren't into pro One was like a, a duck, a chicken, and a soccer ball. And it just said foul play. And I was like, this is the dumbest shit I would never buy. The airport's going to buy this for I me. Wish, I wish you still had that shirt to be honest. It would be so That's small. Nice. I know I had another. You could still wear it. I know I had one. Dude, that, what, what size is that shirt right now? I don't know. Probably a small. A small yeah. It's a small. I guarantee it. Jake is flexing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, that was like the coolest thing ever. Yeah. So I would love that with my. And you only did that. You only had that once. Once. And yeah. I, I mean, I saw them other times, but yeah, there was one time when it's, I went it, out. You gotta. The tough part about when kids are growing up is you gotta. You want to exper- have them experience things, but you mm. want to make sure they're at an age where they remember it. And appreciate it. And appreciate also, it. also, the weird so thing is- you got to make sure they're like maybe like 10, 11, where they like really cement it. But, but also, you, you you don't know how memories work. Also, kids suck a lot of the time. Yeah. Like they- Because there's so many times already, just because it's the older sister is really hitting her. So where she's like really like now like- Protective or whatever. No, like um she wants to be included in everything. Oh, you can't like, just hang out with your nephew. Yeah, where like if you're doing a game with him, she'll come over and ruin it or like something like that. And you're like, no, this is for him. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah, I get that. Well, I mean, like my older sister was horrible But also that. like when they get older, that's how the, the nephew will be probably- once he gets to like, well, th- once he gets to like three or four, you're gonna be hanging out with your niece, and mm-hmm. then he's gonna be coming in like a annoying the little younger brother. I had yeah. a fucking brother ten years younger than me, and he was Can't he, even he just kept wandering in because he was annoying. Mm-hmm. But that's how kids are; they just want to be a part of things, and they don't understand boundaries and they don't understand anything. He just like he goes, oh, "That's my older brother." Let's, yeah. So let's go. That's my older sister. I want to be here. And you go. Oh, we're talking about death right now. Don't. Yeah, that's true. Like, yeah. Don't come in here. Well, because that's a big thing too. Is that me and my sister always just talk like about real shit openly because yeah. it's me and my sister. Yeah. And, and like are, they'll yeah. ask me to play and be like, nope, we're not going to do that. And it's weird setting boundaries with the kids yeah, because you're in the middle of a conversation. Yeah, yeah, and it's really nice to see that she's good at that. Where the kids can be just like shut down, and then it's like, nope, you go do your yeah, own. I mean, thing. that is a tough part because you're also you're going over there to hang out with your niece and nephew, but also to hang out with your sister. Yeah, and that's and it's that's but very he, much a part of that. And as you well. don't really have time to ever just hang out with them alone, right? Vice versa, either yes. one. You know, that'd be weird if you did. You're like, I'm gonna go over to my sister's and ju- and not my sister's not there. Yeah, <laughs> but also like but I've, that's babysitting. I've babysat my other yeah. niece. Yeah, yeah, that sounds fun. I think I think when they get to a certain age and they come here and you have like a weekend with them, once they can appreciate the stuff here because they've been here once, I think it's just fun. To, it's fun to be that guy 
or the uncle. Well, or I whatever. Just, I'm we, built for the perfect eccentric uncle. Nerf guns. Yeah. Fucking running around, playing tag, and also just f- like we all we have both shitty diets. Yeah. So it's like let's make some Jack's pizza. Yeah. They love it, and then also let's watch like. Let's have fun and watch Shrek or something. Sure. Or and then and then and also while you're watching it, like make jokes, like talk out loud. Sure, yeah. Like like that's fun. I'm excited to be the like where they're old enough where they have things they're not allowed to do, but it's fine that they do it. Oh, but during and, pop after ten or something or whatever. Yeah, and that they can do that with me, where I can be like the kind of like wink. Uncle. I literally I'm. When I, the only thing I've ever had is my brother coming over for a weekend. Sure. And uh, that was super fun. But, but like when I was. 17 i visited my sister in college and got oh, drunk with her yeah too. see with my brother i've never done that yet with my brother because he doesn't like to drink yet um, i try to get him to drink here i just smoked drugs with him have you good yeah. good for yeah. he needs to relax too yeah i just smoked drugs with him uh but when he came over he was like i'm guessing i was 22 so he was 12 mm-hmm. which i think i don't know what age it is sixth grade i was like he came yeah. over i was like let's go to the store I was making good money as a carpenter. Sure. I was like, let's go to the store. I was like, let's go to the, on the frozen aisle. Chicken nuggets? Okay. Frozen pizza? Okay. Like, I was like, mm-hmm. what, what do you want? Then we went on the pop aisle. And I was like, what do you want, dude? Yeah. And he's like, 12 pack? And I was like, yeah, let's. Like, I was like 24, bitch. I was like, I have money. Yeah. Like, I was like. <laughs> when, which I have money back then meant like, that's four bucks. I can yeah, afford that. I have, I have $200 in my account. Yeah. I have money. Yeah. I can afford getting this for you. And we get it. And then, dude, he like. We got back, put all the stocked all the stuff. And we were making music. Crack up, dude. He, he drank like four pops, just like yeah, like, just because he could. Dude, he, kids are like alcoholics with soda. Um, they're <laughs> alcoholics with everything because they're just like oh sugar. Yeah, <laughs> like it, it's so funny. And it's like Jesus Christ. Yeah, <laughs> settle down. Well, dude. also because they're so tiny. Yeah, and then they, and then and then they they do get sugar fucking high. Dude, like, the, my the kids, fucking, that's how kids get high. My niece already, she's already had a cavity or I think it was a bad one. She's a silver fucking tooth. She still has her baby teeth. It's fucking sick. I mean, I got cavities early on, but is um, it like an, is it like a, like no, a front? It's a full, like all you see is metal. It's like the, it's like the, you it's brought, like, up, you it's brought like, up Home Alone earlier. Like there. It's like when the, when he shows up in the beginning, he yeah. smiles and it, it goes, dink. No, I'm it, like, so twinkles. fucking pumped that this kid has a little metal tooth. That's badass, yeah. dude. I wish I had silver teeth. I know. I mean, I, we need to go to the dentist, anyways. Well, I know not, I have so many cats. Yeah, that. I don't have. I don't have insurance. <laughs> uh, but now it's time to make this adult. Okay. Um, so, I brought up at the top of the hour that I got a king size bed. Have you fucked in it already? I wish. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wish. Um, no, but I have fucked myself in it. There you go. And dude, that's a full starfish. Oh, dude, it's yeah. it felt weird as hell. It felt it felt so like it was weird. But but do we have a segment for this? Was it cock talk? It's cock talk. <laughs> Welcome back to cock talk. <laughs> Welcome back to cock talk. Uh, the segment where we talk about cocks and nothing else. I I have things to add to this at the end. Okay, good. Okay, good. And this might also tie into. Something embarrassing. Okay. They have to bring up later. I'm nervous to bring up, but we've talked about it before. Uh, okay. But let's talk about the cock talk to begin with. So I got the king size, king size bed about five days ago. Mm-hmm. I'm usually a Reddit guy for porn. Yes. We all know this. Yeah. But sometimes you need full video and sometimes you need sound. Sure. I mean, if I need sound, I just click on the red gifts tab. Ooh. What? All right. Do you not know okay. this about? No, right. I don't. All right. So. Reddit porn. Am I about to learn about? Okay. Yes, sometimes, you're about to learn. sometimes I'm like, I need sound. Yes. All right. So I would say over 50% of videos on Reddit, if you look at the post, there will be a tab on the top that said red gifts. In the and corner. every time it goes to red gift, I go, nope, don't want to don't open external. Red gifts is fine. Oh, it is okay. safe. It is basically their other, it's the exact same thing as the Reddit account, but it's little videos that do have sound. And you can just scroll through them? So you can then click on their profile and scroll through all their stuff. And it's all sound. Most of it. Oh, okay. So that is the secret oh, for that. Okay. No, because Reddit is now my go-to because as well. Because I got worried for a second. Yes. No, Red Gifts is fine. Well, I'll tell you why I got worried for a second. What'd you click on? He just goes, yes. And then, so I was on Reddit and I was like, this ain't doing, for, doing it for mm-hmm. me. I need more. Yes. Sometimes your body's like... You need more. Yeah. You pleasured yourself for you 15 years. You need one years. more. Yeah. You, like, need, yeah, you, need, you need an audio. So I was like, let me go to Pornhub. Yeah. Uh, classic. Classic. Been, been doing it for 15 years. I mean, it's 
it's the first one everyone learns about, right? I mean, it's it the has best. To be. it's, I don't go to any other sites. When I was younger, I might have. But Where'd now you go on when you were younger, I don't. I think I just went to like anything that was like oh porn. Like sure. I was like, but now I've known Pornhub is the best. Yeah, it doesn't have pop ups. It does have all that shit, but it's like it's the best it's of it's the, the best of what, it's album, the best of what yeah. I do. So I always do my Pornhub searching yeah. in private. Best of what he does. What? It's Wolverine's slogan. Best of what he does. I'm the best of what I do, and what oh. I do isn't very nice. You don't know shit about comics. I don't, but you do apparently because your comic sucks. <laughs> but I, I, I think this was Saturday night. Okay. So I got off work. It's three thirty four a.m. Yes. I'm in my king size bed, star fishing <laughs> yep. it, star fishing it, going. Reddit's not good enough for me. I need sure. something. I need someone to. The do. king deserves a treat. Yeah, the king deserves a treat. <laughs> I need to do something else. I need my libation. I need to do something else to get me off so I can go to bed. Yes. At I go, 3 a.m. I go to porn. You could have just closed your eyes for 20 minutes. No. I was like, it's been it's been a few days. Sure. Sometimes when you, it's been a few days, you you know, in your mind, you go, oh, I haven't thought about porn in a few days. I need to do it now. I don't know when I've ever hit that. Oh, you've never done a few days off? I mean, I have, but never like... As soon as I'm laying in bed and go, oh, I haven't jacked off in three days. I mean, no. I don't know the exact number, but it's, it's like... Unless I was like on vacation with my family for the past week, I I've mean, jacked that, off in the past yeah, three days. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? You know, don't take any... Sometimes I just go to bed. I mean, sometimes. Because I'm getting older. You also go to bed with a girl. True, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You also go to bed and have sex. <laughs> well, also, I go to bed and we sleep naked. And sometimes she doesn't want to have sex. And like then I'm just like, well, I've seen you naked. So yeah. I, I'm going to But then also, I'm gonna go downstairs but then also for a while. you're having sex, too. Yes. Sex isn't... I, I'm going to bed in a king size alone. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm going on porn a private... Nice. On my iPhone, you know, like yeah. on the search history. Because <laughs> you're worried someone else is going to use your phone's internet. I don't, I just, it's a force of habit. Okay, you don't sure. do private? Um, I haven't been on Pornhub in a long fucking time. Oh, okay. So, so you might be shocked by this. I don't know the last time I went to a porn site. Damn. I've been a Reddit person for Well, now that I know about this red gift thing, yeah. that's going to change the game. You don't even have to, don't even open a new browser. Just let it go yeah, there because then you back out yeah, right back into right Reddit. Back into Reddit. Yeah. So I went to it Saturday night. 4 a.m. And lately there's been a pop-up that says, are you 18? Which is new. Okay. It's a new thing that says, yes, I'm 18 or no, I'm not. Why sure. would you ever click? No, I'm not. Yeah. So I, so I'm used to that. Yes, I'm 18. But this time it popped up and there was a video and it said, due to your current state regulation, you must. And there was this, this fucking big dialogue. I was a part of and that. And you had to. Okay. So I was like, what the fuck? I heard about this Pornhub. It's in Texas where you need to like put in a license. Yeah, you gotta you gotta create a license thing. Yeah. So I was like, oh fuck, did Iowa establish this? Yeah. I got so fucking freak. I was like fucking rock hard, sure, yeah. ready to finish. And you're but I was like, legislative. I was looking at documents. So I was like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fuck this. Uh, just about then, to have the then, worst come I, of your life. And then I exited out and was like, let me just relaunch. Yeah. Did it same thing. Same thing. It was like all this like, and it was like, mm -hmm. enter your ID. And I was like, no, I'm not going to enter my ID to watch porn. Yeah. So this then, is America. So then I just didn't. So then I was just like, I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I force quit raged. And I was like, fuck, Iowa now requires an ID to watch porn. I was so fucking mad. So fucking pissed off. And then last night, Sunday night, because <laughs> it is again, a, because it is a hashtag moist Monday. Cheers. Yes. Uh, it is a moist Monday. I got off work again, 3.34 a.m. I'm like, I'm on Reddit. Mm -hmm. I'm browsing. I'm like, I just need fucking sound or need like a video or something. <laughs> so then I get back on Pornhub, private search and all this stuff. And then a pop-up comes up. Are you 18? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's me in. Oh. And I was like, wait a second. And then I thought about it. The Saturday night. It said, it said, due to Nebraska state laws. Oh, okay. So it thought my phone was, because I was in private mode. So maybe my IP, I don't know how that, maybe, I don't yeah. know how that shit works. But it, Saturday night, it thought, so Nebraska has Pornhub banned? Or you just need to prove, prove you're 18. If, if Iowa ever makes you prove your ID, you gonna for ride? Pornhub, is that what's going to get you in the streets? No, I'm not going to. I'm gonna use red gifts. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. Well, like that's the thing is, like, also, you're not gonna it, stop it. 
I'm not if that if it ever if Io ever makes it so Pornhub you have to prove your ID. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be fully OnlyFans probably. Sure, like You're I don't. Just a consumer. What's, so, what's so wild is like I'd rather like not enter my information to that site, but enter my information and pay money to. That's fair. <laughs> it's so <laughs> fucked up. It's so weird. And actually pay money. Yeah. Yeah. I was so worried though. I was like, we're fucked on porn. Which is why are we after it now? Like we've come so far. Yeah, and I remember as a kid, you had to prove your 18, or not prove, just click the button, you would like, and then it was gone forever. Well, all you had to do is like scroll down to your birth year, and at that point, you could just scroll all the way to the bottom, and you're like, yeah, 1918, that's fun. <laughs> but that was my uh, recent uh, freaking journey into okay. porn. Just to look through that. Yeah. It's time for some jazz. <laughs> And we're back from the jazz break. Sorry, uh, Izzy got back from work, so we had to take a break. Um, but we're coming back, ending the episode with a... Uh, I know we've been talking about lately that we're getting older. Yes. And I don't know if it's because I'm getting older. Okay. Or if it's because of my diet. Sure. Or it's because of that my butthole's getting looser. Okay. But the over the past month, <laughs> yes. I've had a few accidents. Have you been shitting your pants lately? <laughs> no. Okay. Close. Little, not shitting, but little, <laughs> little like squirts. Okay. It's happened twice over the past month. Ooh, that's pretty, that's pretty quick. Um, All right. So, and it's, it's both been when I'm home at home. That's good. And both when I'm in a, in a safe spot, <laughs> but especially because I think I'm just like, I think it's my body getting... Is it a trusted fart? I think it's a trusted fart. Okay. So I'm saying oh, don't... You, you're not aware? <sighs> you don't know when it happened. You just are understanding that it's happened. It's happened... So the first time it happened, I was on my couch. Okay. I was playing Borderlands 2. Sure. Which is what I've been playing right now. So Great fucking game. incredible. And I'm, when, I'm, when I'm at home, I'm just wearing a t-shirt and underwear. And that's it. Sometimes lately, just underwear. Sure. I'm getting comfortable in my yeah. own skin. Yeah. I go, yeah, you're fat. Enjoy it. Sure. Yeah. Fucking great. Becoming old. Who cares? But I was sitting there playing and I was like, oh, I got a fart. Yeah. And then I go, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Dude, just, have you ever had that? Yes, I've had. Yeah. I've just where you're like, well, because also mine's always a, it's a cheek, it's like a lift and a little spread and just a little. <laughs> and then you go, oh, you go, oh, no. that was not a fart. I just love the. Oh no! But sometimes, sometimes you're a little sweaty and you're a little warm, and 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 you go, you, and you think it, w- you'll have swamp ass and then a fart, and you're like, that just it might have just moved yeah, some shit yeah. around. Some, yeah. Sometimes I'm like, oh, but then I was like, oh shit! So then I like I did that little like lift up, and I was like, nope, there's someone in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's something in there. So I went to the bathroom and I like cleaned up and all that shit. Yeah. Luckily, I'm home. And but I was like, you just need a wet nurse. <laughs> like I have a bidet. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, that's my wet nurse. But I was like, what the hell? And then literally four days ago, Saturday night, um, <laughs> I was on the phone with my sister. <laughs> I was on the phone with my sister at the time. I was sitting at my desk, transferring files mm-hmm. on speakerphone with my sister. And I was like, oh, I got a fart, you know, and I let it out. And then again, I was like, yeah. oh, shit. Was it a long fart or a quick fart? No, it was just a. Oof. And then. And it was a little, it was just a little, little hot twelve little, in your little, undies, little, little fucking Hershey's squirt. <laughs> and I was like, I like, I like did like the over the underwear check. Sure. Like, That's wet. You do over the underwear. If I'm checking, I'm, I'm not reaching in, touching poop. See, I'm reaching in and be like, oh. no, cause I was like, I'm not wet and sweating. Sure. And enough, then I, and, yeah. and then I like, was like, That's wet. And then I like still on the phone. I did this. My sister had no idea. <laughs> I cleaned it all up sure. and continued to talk to her yeah. while I was talking. But I was like, what's going on with me? <laughs> I'm like, it start. I, I, maybe I, would, I, I would keep an eye on it. That's not maybe. I mean, I, I've been eating a lot of greasy. I was going to say is because like the last time I remember. Right, when was not, the last time you sh- like had an accident or pooped yourself? Okay. So the last time I told you about it on the podcast because you had brought it up. And yeah, then that, that was a week, wh- but that was yeah. a while ago. Yes. Yeah, so it, I think it has been that long. Okay. But like, dude, this is, I, I usually don't do this. I've noticed. And now this is twice in a month. I've noticed some like racetracks at times. Like, yeah, but, like that's, but that's because of not wiping well. 
Or I think it's more because like sometimes I'll be like, I'll get an itchy ass and then I like reach I in that. a little too much. And then that. you're like, nah, you expose I'm going to make sure that these underwear stay closed when they're in the dirty. Yes. I, I don't <laughs> I need Izzy seeing that shit. Yeah, luckily I do laundry by myself. There you go. Yeah. But, but you no, know, last time I full on spurted was it was a time I was home. <laughs> yeah, this is probably a year and a half ago. Yeah. You, you, you said this on the podcast for a long time. I don't ones. remember like the full instance. I know I was like not crouching, but I think I was like, oh, because if though this happened or this started <laughs> when I was a kid, it's like if I really had to like shit as a kid, but I was playing video games, I would then just start like kneeling and like leaning on stuff while playing games. Just hold it in. But like, you know, like where you just keep changing like your like yeah. situation. Yeah, just to shift it up in like the mind. Like there's a time when you start like standing and then you're just like legs are just like going back and yeah, forth. Yeah, you're trying to tighten it up. If you see a kid doing that, you're like, oh, that kid's got to shit his pants. But right he doesn't now. want to. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't want to. So just I think to... it was one of those instances where I was just fighting nobody because I think I was home alone. And I just like, I was like, oh, something's there. Just a little, and it was just like, oh, oh no, dude, it's it's it sucks. Yeah, because especially as a almost thirty year old. Yeah, I go. At least it didn't happen when I'm in public. Well, because you have another 30 years until you're allowed to do it again. I know, but it's like, I just go, oh, shit. Yeah. I think I'm just like, I literally was like so confident sitting on my computer, especially when I started, like the last time I happened, four years ago. (laughs) (laughs) I sit on my computer transferring files, you know, my sister's on speakerphone, I sit at my desk, (laughs) I have a glass of whiskey, like, you know, I'm like, (laughs) I'm enjoying my time, you know, and then I'm like, oh, I got a fart, you know, I just do the little, I just like let it out because I'm like distracted and I go. Oh, <laughs> I didn't feel my stomach didn't feel upset at all. Like, no. like that's, that's what that's what started to worry me is I'm like now <laughs> now I can't fart at all. No, sure. <laughs> like now now I'm getting worried. I mean I have let some farts out recently. We are truly in the sharp limbo of life. Yeah, that's like what, we're that, in the in between. Yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's what I'm scared about. I'm like yeah, we're on the gray scale of this brown zone. Yes, like, nothing about me felt ill at all. Obviously <sighs> I've been eating. Cat, I've been eating bar pizza and drinking whiskey and I had a few beers. I mean, that's not good. But it's like, that's what I normally do sure. because I work at a bar and make pizza and then also I drink whiskey. You shit and, your pants. Yeah. But then like, it just happened. And so I'm like, is that because I'm getting older or is my butthole getting looser or like. I don't think your butthole's it, getting looser. Is it just, it's just, is it because of my diet? Maybe your senses are worse in your ass. So I don't know. It's dude, I've never done it. Maybe I did it when I was younger, but I've never, like, it's been so long and now it's happened twice in a month. Twice in a month is concerning. That's concerning. Yeah. Now, I, now I don't trust myself alone. All right. So we're both farts. They were both farts. They were both, yeah. like, they were both like, I'm full, like, I'm going to, for people watching on YouTube, yeah. this is how I'm sitting on the couch, like leaning, fucking relaxing, playing PS4, Not loose butthole. playing PS4. Yeah. And then I just go, oh, I got a fart. And then I'm just like, oh, that's no, weird. Yeah. And then the other time I'm, I'm at, in my desk chair sitting up like this. Talking so to your sister. Talking to my sister, sitting up like with my back straight and everything. <laughs> so it's not like the posture has anything to do with it. It's just like, yeah. Th- there was just something that stuck in the chamber. I something. mean, like, yeah, that's something to be mindful of. Like, yeah, where it's, it's not. Dude, a, if it happens a third time, I'm going to freak no, out. No, that's bad. Like, I got to probably go to the doctor. Because it's a, the question is, is it a live round or is it a blank? Just that something got stuck in. I, it feels like something got stuck in, but they have it can rather, have tw- it can be the crow or it can be rust. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say right now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're making a joke, but yeah, I don't get it, it. It, it. All right. So the crow, they had blanks. But something fell into the chamber, and that's oh, what got lodged okay. into Brendan Lee. Uh, oh yeah, and then and then the rust. It's a live. Bullet. It's just a fucking live so round. So this wasn't in there, a live yeah. round. Let's hope because it wasn't a full yeah. turd. Yeah. So really, I just like really shoot my pants and I go. <sighs> it's rusty. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah something's <laughs> something's wrong with the props department. Rusty, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's because every it's time it's nerve it's but also you've told me stories about how you've been alone and you like ate subway or something and then like you're no, like so what my big one that happened this is when i accidentally shit my pants while staring at myself in a mirror yes, dude, it's my favorite yeah. story <laughs> so i what, mean i have so many favorite stories so me. what happened here was i remember it's i had i had had taco bell rather the night before or like it was a uh, maybe on a weekend i had it for lunch <laughs> and i was aware that i had had taco bell but i still felt something building in and then I was just, I think I just got off the toilet or out of the shower. I, I was walking in my bathroom. I had a mirror there. I looked at myself. I remember, ooh, something's coming. And I looked at myself. I put, I palmed the sink with both hands, looked at myself and raised a leg. To fart. And I just shit my pants. <laughs> you were wearing clothes? I was wearing short shorts. And I 
They, so they, so they we were went longer. The, so it went to the floor. No, yeah, the the short shorts got longer. They held this. Wait. And oh, it held. It, okay, yeah, so it yeah, didn't drip. No, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, dude. When it fucking gets to the floor, you go. I did damage. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you go. No, I have not had. I've in, impacted my environment. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's different. It's different when you shoot yourself. I've not given it's area like, of effect damage yeah, in a yeah, while. The area effect of damage because <laughs> you go. Okay, it's it's now too far. It, it is. It's kind of like the that's when it that's when it hits the environment. That's when you go. It's too far. <laughs> I've made a mistake. It's kind of like when I'm driving and I'm like, if I hit something, it's hard to imagine it will enter my car. Yes, because I am within an enclosed. And space. then the squirrels guts start coming through the vents. You're like, <laughs> Jesus Christ! You're like, okay, it's happening. It's real. It's it. it. I know. I but hit no. It. So what happened is, yeah, I put both hands on the sink. <laughs> and I I. I wouldn't be surprised if I was airborne at this point. Like I gave a little skip with it, yeah, just like. But I had one leg higher than the other, and I let a little purr out, but it let a lot of shit out. <laughs> and I watched myself comprehend it in the mirror because not only was I looking at a man who just shit his pants, I was also staring at the man who shit my pants. Yeah, which so is I was both the victim and the murderer in this situation, and I got to watch on both ends. I can't wait instance. till you're 41 and you kill yourself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how it's ended. Or how it's, it's just how full it started, revolution. Full yeah. circle, baby. <laughs> got him. But also, okay, not to get too graphic, but yeah. was it solid? No, it was a more so, like where it hit and it stuck. So mine was so mine was just like it was liquid with like a little bit of. So it was like it was, <laughs> Gross. you know what I mean? Like yeah. it was like soft. Sure, mine was, it was more, just a little touchdown. Mine was more like you throw putty at a wall. Yeah, that's kind of what it was. Okay, yeah, it yeah. was like it was like liquidy, but with a little bit. It was like a touchdown. It yeah. So it wasn't. So it was like it had movement. So it was like it was like your your insides were fucked up. You did. Yes. You, it wasn't a full. Something was wrong. Yeah. No. I think I, both times I think it's probably because of my no, diet. I've never packed a dry shit in my underwear. That would be insane. I mean, a future guest that we're gonna have on has multiple stories about pooping his pants. About I have never. And I can't had, wait to. I have yeah, never had tell. poop in my like. I've never had a turd in my pants. No, uh, Wes from Game Off the Grid. <laughs> Check him out if you uh, like craft beer and game video games. and retro games. He has so many hilarious stories of him fully shitting. Yeah, his we pants need to get him on the as podcast. an adult, and that's gonna be the focus of discussion. Yes, absolutely. If, <laughs> if he does not because understand he, it, he has a recent one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, one I don't even know about yet. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Because it's in the new, it's in the new space, dude. It's oh. so, it's so funny. Uh, but this has been the Moist Money <laughs> Podcast. If you made it this far, congratulations. I mean, this is what we like to talk about. Just whatever. Just whatever. Things are happening in our lives. Honestly, yeah, this has been, we haven't even talked about anything that's happened in my life recently. You talk about your knees. Yeah, no, but I had so much shit happen this past week. Yeah, but like, that's, there's no antidote in that, yeah. so we don't care. No, my car broke down and I had to replace my license, so I sat at a DMV for like two hours this morning. Yeah, see how boring that is? Dude, I will say though, <sighs> when I got there, there was a guy- I was sleeping while I was telling this. No, there was a guy <laughs> who was wearing a VR goggle the entire time I was there. While he was in waiting? Yes. What do you, you, yes. you could that's the antidote. What are you, what are you doing? But that's that's no, the antidote. No, so you think that's the antidote. He did nothing else. I didn't, oh. I could so, not. So he's watching a movie or something? I don't know. He was just sat, sitting there. The going, thing, I have no idea mm. what he was doing, but he was taking in something. You just see his, his mouth, like, just smile. Go. <laughs> this has been the Moist Monday Podcast. <laughs> Thanks for uh, tuning in. Thanks for listening. Thanks, Thanks for, for being a part of the Moist Mutuals. Thank you for uh, rating us five stars on all the sh- things you can do that. Shout out to oh, shit. all the people that received their moist movie of the month, moist meter pint glasses. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying that. If you guys want to win a pint glass, send me an email about Dante's Peak this or, month. W- or whatever movie we're doing for the future months, in case you listen to this old episode. Yes. Um, By the way, watch Dante's Peak this month. It's our Moist Movie of the Month. You're super excited for that. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and threads. Moist Monday Podcast. Send us an email. Moist Monday Podcast at gmail.com. Rate us five stars on the podcast things you listen to. We're still a five star podcast. We're still fucking rocking and rolling. Please keep that going. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Moist Monday Podcast. You can see our faces. You can see me fucking breakdancing right now, just like the Olympic fucking girl from Australia. I fucking love her. Dude, last place, baby, but she fucking did great. Yeah. Last place of the Olympics. Last place, but also who's first place? Nobody fucking knows because last place was the best. I do not know who won first. I don't even know what country. Exactly, because last place did so Dude, well. Fucking Ray Last Gun. place did so well. I mean, 
it was weird how bad she was. It it is wild to watch. Yes, because she, she scored did, a zero. But she did so well that In nobody our, knows who first place is. <laughs> that is very true. Imagine getting last place and then you're all people talking you're, about. Yeah, you're the, like... Usually last place people people are like, okay. Yeah, people get last place in fucking... In uh, every single competition, and someone like, gets last. And we don't know who they are. No, I don't even watch like fifth to last. No, exactly. I only watch the top three. But fucking, I don't know who won anything for breakdancing. Exactly, we only know about her. Also, apparently breakdancing is not coming back next year because of her. Well, and also they're... But breakdancing is gone. It's like football is in. <laughs> so, <laughs> Ray Gun. I think convert. Yeah, convert to flag football. And I will cheer you on. And be, let's let's go to Australia and do. Yeah, let's get her on the podcast. <laughs> uh, but uh, thanks everybody. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, I love you, bud. Love you too. Happy freaking Moist Monday. Dry bones, lazy bones, big bones, dance around in your bones. I can feel everything. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. <laughs> in the middle of saying a sentence, I felt something. So I, I took like a little pause. Like, <laughs> you ever are so high where you're talking and then all of a sudden you're like, what am oh, I saying? Oh, I'm talking. Yeah. Yeah. No, because there's definitely moments where I'm like, Ooh, I can't just keep staring at him like this. Or like I'm locked into a weird smile. Yeah. Because you start thinking about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs>